Hey, Dr. Josh Wagner here with Patient Mastery. In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you about smart tax strategies for chiropractors. Now, this isn't coming from a place of doing shady stuff and trying to make your LLC in Bermuda so you don't owe any taxes or telling you to move to Puerto Rico or any of this crazy stuff. I'm talking about the foundations because so many chiropractors miss this. We help so many good docs inside Patient Mastery, not just know how to get paid, know how to get your recommendations followed, know how to get more people well, love the process, take three-day weekends, and make what you wanna make. However, even doing that, you can sabotage yourself when it comes to not handling your tax responsibility well. From my background, I don't know where it ended up happening, but I'm the kind of person that's never paid a card late, never not paid a credit card off in full. Like I'm just very diligent about not getting in the hole because when it rains, it pours. And it's easy to start slipping when you let things mount up, especially with certain types of interest. Now that's credit card interest, but no reason of getting um, you know, in trouble with the government. That's even scarier probably type interest. A few things that we see a patient mastery where good docs aren't doing their due diligence. And we're gonna focus on Two main categories. First, prep monthly. And what does this mean? So too often, we hear docs get told by their accountant at the end of the year, January, this is what your numbers were for last year, this is what I need to check for um, you know, in the next month, and they don't have it in their business checking account. What do you do? Every single month, ask your accountant, Google it, whatever it is, you know what's your federal, and by the way, I'm talking more to US chiropractors here federal percentage based on the bracket you're in. If you're netting 100,000, your tax bracket is different than if you're netting 700,000. You also have a state, you know, unless you're in the five or so states that don't have income tax. Some of you, unfortunately, have a city percentage. I kind know of New York City and LA have a city percentage. Ultimately, you could find this out on a quick Google or ask your accountant and get the total percentage of profits that you are likely to owe. So let's just say if it's 10,000, that may put you in a category of, I don't know, save 1,200, save 1,500 bucks. And every single month, you are going to put that money into a high yield savings account. Right now, it's great. They're getting 5%. Now, this isn't an investment account. This can't go down if the market plummets. You can't lose this money. This is high yield savings. And over the course of the year, you're gonna have you know, more money than is owed. That's one thing, right there, that's a bonus for you. So 5%'s been accruing all year. For a lot of you, that's gonna be a few thousand bucks. That's a nice bonus at the end of the year. It's not gonna be huge, but it's something. Next is, at end of year, what can you pay forward for the next year? If you have monthly subscriptions and you know you're gonna continue with that subscription, maybe it's even um, financing payments, maybe it's a piece of equipment you know you're gonna purchase, let's say in the first quarter of the next year. Well, if you, instead of, let's say it's a monthly subscription of 200, $300 a month, if you know you're gonna spend that the rest of the year, oftentimes companies will give you a discount for just paying it all in one. And if you pay in December, let's say you pay 1,500, 2,000, instead of the 2,500 it would have been month over month over the course of a year, you get to write that all off for the current year. You're gonna pay the taxes on that money anyway, but you can always be a year ahead of what you're paying for. Ultimately, you're saving one year. It saves you money with the savings you'll get by just doing one year instead of month to month, again, on stuff you know you're gonna purchase, and it saves your tax bill this year because rather than paying income tax on, let's say, that 2,500, now it's another business write-off. And I'm talking about business write-off things, not personal subscriptions. So these two things, this first one being the most important, if every month when you're looking at your stats, and let's say it's the third, fourth, fifth of the following month, looking at the stats for the month before. Hopefully you're reviewing your most important stats like collections and profits and new patients and conversions and retention and referrals and where the new patients are coming from and which ones start. Important statistics. And you're looking at your P&L, you're making sure there's nothing funny with what's increasing in overhead, with all that. Time to do it during your cash flow, maybe it's on the fifth of the month for the month before, and you realize, hey, the month before, you know, we're in September now, 
Yep. If it was September 5th looking at August and you say, hey, I made 25,000 in profit. Well, being a responsible business owner, how much based on federal, state, city, whatever applies to you, how much should you responsibly send to a high yield savings account so you can't touch it, you're not gonna take it back, it's not gonna go down, it's only gonna grow by 5%, so it's waiting there when you get the email, the bill from the accountant that says this is what we need to pay in, you are always ahead of the game, and you have extra to just reward yourself. If you just do that, it's sending a message to yourself, to your team, to your family, to life that you are in charge, you're doing the right thing, you're doing your diligence, you're responsible, and guess what happens when you are showing responsibility? Life gives you more things to be responsible for, and in this case, money. If you are not on the ball, not accountable, not aware, not responsible, things just get worse. You're either going in one direction or the other. You're getting better or you're getting worse. And right now, you get the opportunity to choose. I hope you to take this to heart if you're not doing it already. If you are doing this all already and are looking for extra strategies on how to save money, tax savings, that's what the Financial Freedom Accelerator is for. I believe this week we're releasing it for a ridiculously little amount just to be a gift to chiropractors and the profession, showing you how to be the financial CEO of your practice, really the CFO of your life, and set yourself up for financial freedom by doing the correct cash flow at the end of the month. This is just one of the steps to make sure you're knocking off debts, saving for the future, giving your family the lifestyle they deserve now, which is what you deserve for helping so many people get back to their life. Rather than giving great care and struggling financially, that's not fair. So start here. If you want more, get the Financial Freedom Accelerator, and I'll see you on the inside.